We are back in the ATL with the Real Housewives. Welcome back, the one and only She by Sheree. Or should I say, Serve by Sheree. Or Slay yes. by Sheree. Or Slay by Sheree. <laughs> you know what? Sheree, <laughs> let me ask, what was it like being back on the show after all these years? It was a great experience for me this, uh, this season. I got a great welcoming back from everybody. You know, I saw some old friends, met some new friends. What was your first impression of Kenya? Of Kenya? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Can I have a cocktail first? <laughs> what, when we met, it was very intense. You know, I just didn't think that she would come for me. I'm an OG girl. <laughs> she needs to go dust Nobody off that crown she wants before she comes here. <laughs> um, what do fans say the most to you when they see you? They're going to say, who going to check me, boo? Where is she by Sheree? How is Chateau Sheree? I mean, it's just everything from the show. You're like I a know. human T-shirt. <laughs> I know. I know. That like everybody else made. T-shirt. <laughs> we'll talk about the status of Chateau Charest and Moore Manor mm -hmm. in a little bit. Well, Kim Fields, we first met you as Tootie, but even Mrs. Garrett couldn't prepare you for the ladies of Atlanta. Watch. Darlings, how are you? Hello, oh, darling. Have... Kim Fields, do you know her, Nene? Rudy. Huh? Rudy, girl. Are you talking about Tootie? Oh, that's Kim Fields. I've never seen you out. Where do you go? I'm very focused with like mom and wife. What makes Kim like say, ooh, I can't wait to wake up to do X? Go to carpool? Not carpool. Make lunch. I've lost myself and I didn't know it until you just said that. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry to disturb. I have to step out. Tootie should take a page from Phaedra's book and learn to travel with a T. You don't think you're going to come back in? I mean, you don't want to seem disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful of being a mother and taking care of my kid. No, of course not. Just because you're a mother doesn't mean you shut the whole world out. So this is the longest that I've been away from the family, really. And I'm not really sure that I'm going to make it for the whole trip. What do you mean? Really, Kim? Girl, get your life. I don't get it. I want to go home. I miss my husband. This little homesick routine is wearing me out. I don't want to be here. You want to be doing this with you guys. Okay, lots to discuss. Did you bring your kids tonight? No, I did not. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I, I feel like hearing nobody's mouth about it. I'm sure you did. <laughs> There were a lot of tweets through the season debating whether you belong on this show. What do you think? Is it a fit? Well, I don't know still to this day if it's a fit per se, but was it entertaining? A lot of times, yes. I want to take it to the group. Do you think Kim was a fit for the show, Kenya? I mean, if I'm being honest, no, I don't think so. She is often very condescending to the group as though she's better than everyone. I remember in... Jamaica, she said, well, if I don't fit in with this group, it's okay. Guess what they say about you behind your back, snooze fest. If I don't fit in with this click, okay. that is really okay. That's pretty nasty of a dig. My response was to, you know, everyone says you're a, a snooze fest. So what does it take not to be boring in this group? That's what it's in reference to. Overall, I felt like I don't know if you necessarily fit in with the quote-unquote group because we are all about dealing with confrontation and you don't deal whatsoever. Phaedra, do you think she understands it? I, with Kim, I think she is definitely different from us, but you have to want to engage, and sometimes I noticed that she did not engage. Yeah. For me, I, I've always loved Kim. Regine, it was my favorite. Um, she just seemed a little judgmental. It was disappointing to see so much boobage. Just, ow. I miss class. And I was like, oh, she's going to be a judgy one. So I was hoping that that would change into like more of an endearing kind of situation where she was like an aunt. You know, someone who we, who I'm I could, aunt, not the aunt. Like, I've always said that. I've always said she's like, like a big aunt. sis, come on. Big, okay, boy, big, what sis, the hell? big sis, big sis, big sis. Resuscitate the, the aunt. child. The aunt of the group. You know what's funny about that is, at that event, I was just surprised at how much that's the norm. So it wasn't a, a judgmental thing. It was an observation of, oh. Yeah, but when you say something like, what happened to class, that's being judgmental. Well, it's my opinion. To me, you just seemed more uncomfortable in the group than judgmental. 
like you just never hung out with anybody like us before, like for real. And is that right? I don't think people realize that I'm actually really, really shy. And I think people have an expectation, especially if they have Regine as a point of reference, that it just becomes, oh, this is, you know, probably who she's going to be. When you broke down in Miami, mm -hmm. was there a part of you that was feeling like, I don't want to be on this show? Oh, not at no. all, because one, I would have said that. I definitely say what I mean and mean what I say. I just wanted to be with my man right. at that point. Uh, Eric from Kansas City, Kansas. Kim, you seem to have difficulty managing your children in D.C. Meanwhile, Phaedra looked cool as a cucumber. Yeah, What made this trip so difficult? The thing when Quincy's crying was we got in at 2 in the morning and then it was his nap time. So you kind of do the math and, you know, figure it out. It, it's almost like you thought it was going to be like a field trip or something fun for the kids. But no, I, honestly, it was not for the kids. So It was presented as something that was for our children to show them that people of color are in leadership and government, those sorts of things. So it actually was, and that's what was So why was were you presented. leaving out then? So, why did you keep exiting? Because my son was crying, so I didn't want to be disrupted. I know, but when you're exiting, you're like, this isn't for kids. At the office or at the um, I mean, you lunch. exited pretty much everywhere we were, <laughs> but... <laughs> pick one thing she exited from. Oh, just pick one. Maybe you should have did what Phaedra did and got a sitter. Like I said, that ain't how to check out. Do you regret that? Not at all. No. At that point, it really was just about making sure that I was a dedicated mom. Phaedra, you didn't invite Candy and Cynthia to the Million I Man didn't. March. She was very pregnant, so she couldn't travel. I and think Peter... I could travel in the United States at that time, but I didn't get invited. Sheree, you were there with your son, Cairo. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? That him? was awesome. So much is going on in, you know, in this world. And he is a young black man. And, um... Fine young black man. Yeah. Fine young black man. <laughs> good looking. Yeah. Ooh, good morning, everybody. Six, six. You big for 19. Are you worried to have your son around Portia? Yes. He was some good eye candy. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, Cairo is a struggling uh, out those college student. Men. Put some money in his account, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're going to be Cairo's sugar mama. <laughs> so it was a good, it was positive. It was a very positive experience. Thank you, Phaedra. Don't go anywhere. More questions.